So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek Jedi, and today I have one of the biggest easter eggs in Sets of Onoshima, apart from the main easter egg quest itself, and this is going to impact our storyline and future DLC maps greatly. And this was spotted originally on the Call of Duty Zombies Reddit by Edis1898, and he noticed after completing the easter egg that all other characters in the game now have blood vials on them. We know in the easter egg right at the end, it seems they teleport back from somewhere back into sets of Onoshima right at the very end and Richtofen mentioned something about a life insurance policy. Now we aren't too sure what exactly these blood vials are doing but if we look at Richtofen we still have the mob of the dead vials they look exactly the same no real difference there. But taking a look at our other three characters we can see they have slightly different blood vials on them. Taking a first look here at Dempsey we have these blood vials which do not have any prisoner numbers on them they're just blank blood vials filled with blood and Dempsey is carrying them on his person. Nothing too strange there. Looking at Takio, he too has blood vials but they don't look anything out of the ordinary. To me the tubes look ever so slightly longer but that is just down to personal opinion. But he wears these on his backpack rather than on his torso. And ending with Nikolai we can see he also has these blood vials on his torso but to me these blood vials stand out as they look a little bit different. We still have the exact same blood vials as the previous two characters but it seems right at the top of the blood vial itself there's this weird kind of vein or kind of just like drips of blood that's seeping its way down into the blood vial which we do not see on Takio or Dempsey. Now ever since Origins and noticing Richtofen with the Mob of the Dead blood vials we've always wondered what those blood vials were for. Jason Blundell the director of Zombies at Triarch has mentioned that we will be seeing an explanation for these blood vials vials before DLC 4 and now with all of our characters possessing a set of blood vials each we're definitely getting some interesting story here. Now the big question is whose blood is this? I'm going to make a separate video looking at a ton of different ideas very very soon but my immediate guess is is that when Richtofen mentions about life insurance you're talking about your own health of course making sure that you stay fit and healthy of course and there could be some sort of thing where where these blood vials are another version of our characters, a sort of backup just in case changing the events any further will actually harm themselves and their existence. They've always got something to fall back on of another version of themselves. But there is of course the idea that we could be going to Mob of the Dead during that and we could be collecting more blood from even more people from the Alcatraz prison. Although we don't see any numbers on the blood vials to indicate for any other prisoners. It won't be long before we get answers and I can't wait to bring a video diving even more into what the ending could mean and what these blood vials could mean. But let me know your immediate thoughts about this down below in the comment section and if you're hyped and excited about this make sure to drop a like rating I really would appreciate it. But if you want to stay updated on this and future zombie videos make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on another video very very soon.